Hi guys, this is H Summer, and today we're gonna do this very mystical butterfly crown. <laughs> I am thrilled every time spring comes, and I can't wait to see actual butterflies because it's been snowing so much here in Salt Lake City. I don't know where they are at, but in Alabama, where I used to live, they are plenty. It's gorgeous, and you can see like a bunch of them in just like in a cloud of butterflies and inspired by that and how people really really love flower crowns i thought about making butterflies with flowers but you know what why not just make the cloud of butterflies that would be amazing right to you know being able to wear that i mean i i would love to i always often very much try to catch few like not to catch in a jar just to you know all myself like when they touch you i don't know i think this is, this is like a magical moment when the butterflies realize that you're not gonna hurt them and they just want to you know uh, land on you a little bit i don't know am i weird sorry guys let's go for the tutorial this tutorial is super easy all you have to do is to draw some butterflies on a paper or you can also print like I did. Cheater, I know. Place the paper under the fabric and trace the butterflies. Soon, you will have a bunch. You need at least eight. Paint both sides of the fabric. You have to paint both sides or else the fabric will frail. Once the paint is dried, use a permanent marker to trace the black designs. Now with everything set, you just have to cut it. I really like using Sharpies in my designs because it pops the color way, way better than regular paint. Now this part is optional. I made the body of the butterflies in puffy paint. Use the puffy fabric paint to make a blob for the head, another blob for the body, and then a little bit for the tail. You do need a steady hand, however, this is not very difficult. Once it's dry, you can paint all the little dots with white fabric paint. I'm using a nail dotting tool for that. To make the wire part, I'm recycling some flowers that I had from Dollar Tree. I'm only using four pieces and you can save the flowers to use in another project. Alright, now that you have the four pieces of wire, you're gonna connect two with some tape. Reinforce the middle area with more wire and tape the ends. And this is gonna be the front part of your crown. Bent it gently so it will look like a tiara. Now I'm deciding the areas that I'm gonna put more wire to make the butterflies fly. They're gonna be at the areas where the cat ears are. Once happy with the design, tape the wires in place. I'm also taping two bobby pins in the end of the tiara to make it hold better. If I had floral tape, I would totally use it, however, I don't, so I'm just using regular paper to wrap around the wire. And you can use different stuff. You can use a newspaper, you can use ribbons, you can use yarn, whatever you want. If you're going to wear it as a costume, you can use regular paper, but if you're going to wear it on a party, I'd say that you should use silk ribbon or any kind of ribbon that you want instead. Once you're finished, paint it green or whatever color you want. I like using the same puffy paint because it gives a plastic finish to the piece. But you can use whatever you want. Now that everything has dried up, you're all set to glue your butterflies. Start by gluing a big one in the center, followed by a smaller one in the tip, another smaller one in the other tip, a bigger one in the middle of the center, and another smaller one in the bottom. Repeat the same process on the other side. They don't have to be 100% alike because the idea is that there is a cluster of butterflies floating around your head. 
This one was the original design, but to be honest, I changed it already because I wanted something more symmetric. The first one was really asymmetric because the idea was that the butterflies were floating around. And this is the second version, a lot prettier and more symmetric. What do you guys think? If you want to buy a better and more symmetric version, it's going to be sold at my Etsy shop. But for now, I just wanted to show you that even with recycled materials, you can have a beautiful headpiece for yourself. So this was it. It was really, really simple and easy and the result I think is stunning. Don't you think so? Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more tutorials like this. This was very, very cheap, but I would make some uh, changes if I was, you know, going to sell this. I'm actually making a blue one too. Anyways, guys, bye bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I know that my accent is kind of weird, but hey, I'm trying and I hope you really like it. Bye bye.